to 120 meld. Mm-hmm. Interceptors have been put over South America. So let's take a quick look at the facilities we have. No, we have to build this, the alien containment facility. You know, it's in, with all the money you got, want to uh, build the elev build the elevator shaft down a level yeah. just so so it's, we have it. That's gonna take five days to build. I'm gonna build the alien containment facility just because I have to. Right. Okay. That's also going to allow for interrogations when I eventually get around to that. Yeah, once you have the arc, majig. That may not be the official. Oh, uh oh, abduction. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. So Rio de Janeiro, totally calm right now. South Africa, slightly not calm. This gives us some scientists. And Russia, difficult, but it will also give us a support, a new Ooh. support and sergeant. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, actually, that reminds me. We can go to the officer training school and buy. Aha! Squad, squad size, size plus squad. Size. Now we can have five soldiers per mission. Yes. We can also buy wet work. This gives you bonus XP from alien kills and allow and we'll get um, soldiers oh, leveling helpful. up faster. That sounds helpful. And you know. Or I iron will. I think I'm going to go what? ahead and invest in it early. Okay. There's also Iron Will, although we can't afford that now. Larger yeah. Will bonus each time they are promoted. So let's take a look here. <clears throat> South Africa, moderate for scientists. Novograd, Russia. Difficult to now panic we... support. And, and uh, let me see the South Africa again. Okay, now if either South either the South Africa or Russia won, that country will then be boosted up to four fear, right? Or yep. four panic. All right, and remember, each other nation on that continent gets a plus one. The, for the one that we don't, you ignore, gets a plus one. Right. Let's go to the situation yeah. room and see what the uh, panic... You want to take a look at the panic real quick? Yeah. Uh, South Africa, Egypt is totally calm. South Africa, kind of calm. Nigeria is at... Three. Yeah. Let's, well, I don't know. If, if we ignore the African one, then we'll have two African nations that'll both be at four. That's boring. Yeah. Hmm. Now, Russia is at two. Yeah. And that'll put all, three other European nations to three. Yeah. Now, now there are often some difficult... This, this is often very quite tricky to figure out what to trade off in these... This is one of the trickier parts of the game at times. Uh, uh, whichever one we do, we're going to have one country at four. Because if we ignore Russia, Russia will go to four. And if we ignore South Africa, South Africa will go to four. And Nigeria will also go to four. Yeah, so I don't know, I'm, incli I'm inclined to say go to Africa. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. We're also going to be getting a satellite soon, and we could put the satellite over Russia. Okay, yeah. To calm them down. All right. So it's going to go with Africa. So let's see. It looks like most of our heavy hitters are still... Yep, they're still wounded. How many... We okay. Honestly, well, we got... need a support. Another support unit. And we don't have one. I'd suggest bringing, like, I don't know, like, three veter three experienced guys, two rookies. Okay. Let's clear all these for now. Uh, I'm gonna have to bring Ryu and say Terry. And you know what? Let's bring Shao Kahn. Awesome. These guys are gonna hit hard and fast, and Ryu is just gonna shoot everywhere. Probably ineffectually. And so let's bring Sakura and Kami. Oh, we've got a very Street Fighter heavy team this time. Oh, that's true. And up, and off we go. Strike one. Prepare for landing. Hey, it's a uh, 
pretty close to the current date. Oh yeah, it's, we are recording this on uh, April eleventh, two thousand fifteen. It is about eight. It is eight forty-seven p.m. Central Time by my clock. Yeah. So yeah, this happened just a little over twenty-four. This <laughs> this happened quite recently, actually. Twenty-four hours ago, a little over thirty-six hours ago. Operation Driving Throne. That makes no sense. So far, is the only person killed in action Sonya Blade? Yes. And... Now that you say that, I'm worried we're going to lose someone. <laughs> well, it, people die in war, Nick. It's, it's true. Not if you save I, them, though. Well, true. Now, for whatever reason, here in South Africa, it is just flooding. Well, I'm sure they have their rainy days like anyone else. It's like, it's seriously flat. Like, that's a couple of inches oh, uh, of water. Well. This would also not happen in California, to be fair. Because <laughs> it's an eternal drought. Okay. Oh, so Shao Kahn's found, uh... Oh, there's the melt. A melt canister right away. Now, the only way to move up, move along this map appears to be one column forward. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot of variance. So I, I'm gonna try and pick a side and just mostly stay to that side. A lot of, lot of cars in this stage, which do provide cover, but if they take damage, can catch fire and then explode. Yeah. The worst part is that there's not always, um, warning. Normally, like, if it's on fire, it takes a turn for it to explode. But sometimes it can... And it's not always the case. And also, it's the, the alien weapons, they're being more damaging. They're more likely to set them on fire, right? I mean... Yeah. Like, a plasma, a plasma hit's a lot more likely than just, you know, rifle fire. I think their cl plasma hits are classified as explosive. Really? I'm not sure. It was fairly straightforward. Yeah. That's the good thing about maps like this. Not a whole lot of tactical variation. It's also the bad thing because you, it seems like sometimes you just have to hit your head against a wall until it works. Ah, first sighting. Uh oh. Okay. Yep. The floaters. Another uh, return. Another returning alien from the original uh, X '90s XCOM. And same basic concept. There's a partly living alien with his mechanical flying stuff. They're a lot meaner looking this time. Certainly are. Well, the original. It originally they just sort of floated around in this sort of. Very sort of st almost stately manner. <laughs> See if Cammy can nail one. She cannot. That's a bit more dangerous to approach on this side. That would definitely get me flanked. Yeah. I'm just gonna move over here. Let's See. Wait for that hit. I'm gonna have Sakura on Overwatch. Okay. And then Terry run this way. Oh no. Yeah. Remember, don't forget way. he always has run and gun as an option. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's a bit too far to close in. I mean, unless I well, I'm gonna play it a little bit safer. Uh oh, oh, oh! That was was that over Overwatch shot? Overwatch, yeah. Okay. No. Downside of 
Giving the sh a guy with a shotgun Overwatch is often kind of frustrating because if it's in an open area, he may be taking Overwatch, waste his Overwatch on a shot that, you know, really has no chance. Yeah. Alright, so I did see that floater land over here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move Shao Kahn right around here. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Are they, are they taking a shot at him? Yeah. Overwatch, missed. but he missed. And... Ooh, a flank shot. Ha ha ha! Excellent. Okay. Let's move Sakura up. Oh no. Oh no. Based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking This is one of the new uh this is one of the new additions to the expansion, right? Yes. So that's the uh stealthed unit. They're kinda like Chokers, I guess, is the most accurate way to describe them. They have stealth, and they will just wait until uh, a unit's fairly isolated before they try and choke them out. Cami is not hitting very well. See if Ryu can do any better. There we go. Yes. Okay. Uh oh, oh, it's materializing. Over oh, yeah. oh, you messed it up pretty good with that Overwatch. Yeah. This time the shotgun Overwatch paid off. Okay, what's it? Whoa! Holy crap! Oh no! Are those tentacles? They are tentacles. No, that's that's not good. It is not. Oh. Uh, so um, first, Shao Kahn's gonna run over here because if he gets caught on his own, and and this and, far and one away, one of your squad members is a Japanese schoolgirl too. <laughs> can you shoot it off? You can. Cammy can't, risk can't but, you know, someone else <laughs> a, probably could. A competent Maybe soldier. Sakura. Uh, no. so uh, so Sakura, Sakura knows what the deal is with those things. There you go. Luckily, there's no chance of accidentally shooting your uh, squad nice. mate. Now, now that you've got it off your guy, can he still take his, can he take his turn like normal? Uh, he gets half an action. He loses one of his... Uh, okay. Okay, he loses at a point. Action I assume points. he. I assume he can't do anything while it's actually on him? Yeah. Okay. Who's now, if you, if you if you hadn't killed it, like a, what would happen? Like, would he just die at the end of the at the alien on the aliens? Uh, I think it takes one or two turns for them to be strangled. Okay, but like, what if a guy does it? Like, is it like an automatic kill though, or does it just do a certain number of hit points? Or I don't, I don't rightly know. I okay. I think it does do a lot of hit points, okay. but I, the one like, time so... I let it happen, he just automatically died. But okay, I do, so... it was also a rookie, so I don't know if that's. Okay. Related. Alright. So I do know that other squid thing is out there. There we go. Couple more sectoids who are wisely running away. Cammy's just not having the best luck today. There we go. Wow. Okay. Now, is there, is there a way to see it before it, like, you know, gets in close to, to attack? No. No. Ah. Uh, one of, let's see, she did it before. Yep. Yes! Sakura, that's... the Japanese schoolgirl, is... Destroying fact, her natural enemy. 